Uh, good morning from the Wadkin Temple. Uh, this is part two of the custom VFD drives from the Wadkin Temple. And um, I've gone through some of the parameters and um, I'd like to show you some more features and how um, utterly excellent this, this drive is. Um, I've uh, spent uh, a number of days going through and marking up uh, the manual for all the pertinent uh, uh, things to do and I have adjusted it uh, to do uh, what I call are some basic stuff. I obviously have set my frequency. I can, I can actually adjust my frequency on this case up to 120. Of course, you can go up to 600 like I said. Um, and uh, um, the reason I'm doing that is, is let me show you what I've done here. So um, I was able to adjust uh, all of the parameter motor um, settings. And what's fantastic about this drive uh, is it has a, it has a uh, static auto tuning. And uh, it, it, um, it actually uh, configures this motor specifically to, you have to enter a number of those. And if you get one of these drives, I'll send you a private video of uh, which parameters are important and how, and how to enter them. Um, to do a, a static auto tuning, which uh, allows the VFD to, um, uh, to read uh, what the motor is doing and compensate uh, in vector mode to keep uh, rotational speed correct. Um, it's pretty simple. So um, functions are pretty easy. Um, uh, you are just going to press menu and you can see that there is functions. Uh, I'm currently in function F15.20 and to do the auto tuning after I've entered all of the data in here. So you enter uh, you enter the kilowatts, horsepower, you enter the RPM, the slip RPM, in this case 1765, the voltage. Uh, the voltage, as I said, is adjustable from 200 to 260. Um, and uh, also the drives are adjustable in kilowatts from zero to their output. So this is a five horsepower drive. It doesn't have a range uh, like some some drives do that so for overload protection it's uh, they're not very good I uh, set the amps and um, I set uh, um, uh, I th the, the Hertz uh, the drive comes set to 50 Hertz factory of course I'm in Canada this is 60 Hertz and that can be set um, the Hertz can be set from anywhere to, from 0 to 600, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure what you would need 600 for, but there might be applications. Uh, the drive also has another jack um, right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you can see there's a little knockout right there. And there's another jack just like that one. And this drive can master another drive. Uh, so any communications would be transferred to the other drive and they could work in unison. So that would be good for uh, uh, planers. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate a few things. One is uh, let's run the static uh, auto-tuning where this will sync itself to that drive. And that function is... Um, Function 15.22. So let me let me sort of show you how to do it. So you press that. We're in function 15. And what did I say? Two twos. Let me find that. Just a second. Uh, I got these marked pretty clearly, but I had a book spark. Just a second. Um, here we go. Okay, so uh, um, so it's function 15, 19, we're at 20. So uh, to get into your digits, use the side arrow. We're going to, to 19, so you can go to that one and go down and see now we're at, okay? 
Now that we're in our function, we want to enter data. So we're now going to enter data in that function. The function right now is at one, factory is zero, you need to select it to one, and that's just by up and down arrows. Function one will run an automatic test. We're going to enter that. We're now outside of that. We can now escape, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if it's important, uh, but we'll set this to 60 um, because it's going to run a test and uh, uh, send current through the windings. So uh, all we'll do for that is uh, press start. Sorry, let's get that exactly to 60. Okay, and now we're going to run our test. Uh, the motor actually won't spin, so I'll be quiet. You can hear current running through the windings as, uh, as it sinks. So it's, it's now in the mode, and I'll see if you can hear this. The clicking. Uh, that's it running charges. We'll run a sink and we wait for it. Uh, I also had to set this to uh, English uh, in one of the parameters, but as I said, um, if you do get one from me, I'll send you a private video of what parameters are pertinent for your application. I'll also offer that service if you don't feel like you want to do the programming, but it is fairly simple. So it's, it's now done. It's now synced itself with all my parameters and is able to now uh, drive this motor. So uh, I have an application for this motor, um, which the person needed a, uh, a 3600 RPM motor. This is uh, a four pole motor. So we're gonna run it at twice speed, which is 120. Okay, so I've now got ramp up. That's running at twice the speed. I've got a, sorry, I've got a brake set to four seconds. It's a little better. Um, what's great about this one is uh, you can actually start this one in reverse. You don't have to, uh, in other words, you can just press reverse and it'll start, which is nice. Uh, and of course it displays reverse at the top. I need to use stop. Um, of course, you you can you can do this all with external switches. Um, so run would always be forward. Uh, you can push uh, reverse while in forward, and it'll change. Uh, on the on the forward reverse, um, you can actually have a time uh, a parameter set in there. So as it breaks and uh, comes down, you can actually have a time parameter in there if 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 you need that. Uh, I'm not sure what the application would be, but but that's quite interesting. So um, so here we are at 120 hertz, and I've now programmed function C, which is the side arrow, sorry. So function 00 is hertz rating. Function five is RPM. Now I'm at 20, uh, or sorry, I'm at uh, 120 running that motor at uh, twice the speed. So the R RPM of this will be twice 1765. And here it is displaying the RPM. 
RPM is 31, uh, 3150. So let's let's drop this uh, the frequency to 60 hertz. Okay, let's go back in. There we are, 1768. Exactly what's on that motor. We can come her up to 20. That's full speed. 35, 31 RPM. Very nice, quiet motor. Um, of course, there are... So to access uh, RPM or, or whatever, you just use the side C function. And, uh, uh, you know, and there are uh, 56 inputs, uh, a number of them. So anyway, um, I thought I'd show you that. Um, hear the fan go off again. Uh, I know some people were wondering uh, if there's output for this. Uh, yes, there are. Uh, um, there are outputs in the uh, in the manual. I believe uh, this unit is 14 amps, um, and uh, uh, they're all listed. Uh, I've set this one even up into. Uh, 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 amp protection on this one and so um, my next one my next video will be uh, external switching thank you